But basically, when I make a presentation, we start by writing down a topic. One of the people will pick that topic, and then they will have to do a short two-minute presentation on it while somebody else is selecting the sort of titles and pictures to go along with it. They will have no idea what pictures or words are going to pop up on screen. That is out of their control, but they've got to roll with it. Oh but, my god, yep. my brain can't handle that. <laughs> Hello, my name is Robert, and today I'm going to talk to you about how ho 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 I'm Santa Claus. And this year I'm going to be doing things a little bit different, and I'm giving kids, I'm giving kids gifts to the naughty. Oh boy, I'm going to be riding down that road. You can't get Rudolph out at this time of year. He's such a little bitch. He refuses to let me go and give things to the naughty. And I, when I say naughty, I'm not talking about kids. I'm finding those people, you know, that have been lost. And I'm going to give it to them in a little bit inappropriately. Instead of a sleigh, like I just said, I'm also traveling. Sometimes I've got to go by boat. Sometimes I've just got to yeet myself like some weird crab woman. That you've got to let the demons come inside of you and just feel it deep inside. And if you're, if you're struggling on using that pose, have a couple of beans and do a good old fart for propulsion. Holiday magic can only happen, though, if you believe in this one fact. Dog mass. Thank you very much. Oh, I, I, I started howling hysterically. Oh, 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 oh who's, who's talking? Me. Oh, no, I am. <laughs> oh, the evil scientist. If... Guys, okay, <laughs> I don't know if I can uh, talk much because of my brain injury, but <laughs> I'll do it. Chat, I think I'll fix it. Hello, computer. my name is Shut and Neat, and my talk is about something I don't know what it is. Uh, I went on an incredible vacation to hell, and here are my travel photos. Yeah, so to hell I needed to go in a teleporter. The teleporter was my laptop. I went in there and got to hell. <laughs> Here's a stop on the trip that I wish I had skipped. Yeah, and then I don't even know what the name of that creature is. Caterpillar. <laughs> Here's the caterpillar and I didn't want to do anything. It was spurring out with flames. I didn't want it. The caterpillar was not good. No. Before you go there, I have a piece of advice. Look out for... I don't know, beetles? <laughs> Look out for massive beetles. They can even take up your own couch. You don't want that. You want to take your couch with you. N no. <laughs> no, not any beetles on there. No, you don't want that. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Sid Cavs, and today I'm going to be talking to you all about how nobody used to pay attention to me, but I ate cheese, and now I'm the bell of the ball. You see, I used to be this lowly little sock puppet kind of person, you know, always sticking to the shadows, you know, trying to find my way in this crazy world that is life. But then, how was I supposed to know that this whole time that I was falling in love with units are ready upside down turtles? You guys know the way. upside down turtles? You take your hands, everyone, pull your hands out, put one on top of the other. You heard that clap? And then you twiddle your, finger, your thumbs in a little circular motion, and that is a turtle. And you can do it upside down, so palms up. I know you can't see me, because I'm not the one streaming here, but, you know, it's really easy. Nice little upside down turtles. And it's a really big hit when you're, like, 11 years old at summer camp. And truly, that's one of the reasons I became the belle of the ball. The other one was cheese, as I discussed earlier. Don't become lactose intolerant. That's a really bad way to get attention. So am I a hero? Honestly, yes, I really am. And let me show you why. Cows. This one isn't the best cow. Highland cows are usually like my preferred cow. You know, they're very fluffy, they're very hairy. They always look like they just came back from the hairdresser. But this cow, look how free this cow is. Look how happy this cow is. To be your own hero. Be free and happy like this cow. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> I have no idea what I was talking about, but I feel like I sounded convincing. I think I... I'll give you some of that. I'll give you some of that. Hello, my name is Robert, and I'm going to talk to you today about my dating life. Is it fact or is it fiction? This is the question of the year. Most people think it's you true. need to give that lady flowers, but I said no. I'm going to give that bitch cress water. You might think that's fake, but so's the girl. Got anything to say about that? Hmm. Looks maybe deceiving. You might think that guy's pretty fly. He's got his trials merch on. He's got a lightsaber. How does that portray to sex? You know, I'm pretty hot, but just like a fire, no women get close to me. You think COVID had a two meter radius. This would be the woman, you know, ignore my drawing. And this is about a uh, hundred meters. Now, one image that could really sell you, if you think Rob's on Tinder, this is the image the lady see. Gonna burn this into your memory. I use a bag. I'm very sad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this was my topic too. <laughs> well, you chose the same one. No, like I wrote this one. Oh, right. <laughs> I, I love that he ends it on that. He just goes... I'm very sad. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Hello, my name is Emerson King, and my talk is I'm a sitcom character, and I'll explain how I got into this wacky situation where I'm a caterpillar watching Prime. <laughs> you know, it all started when that giant whale thing was being compared to, you know, pancakes. And I was sitting there like, huh, that makes no sense. Why would someone do that? You know, and it all started like another day, you know, it was just like the other day. It's just so weird. Like, why would you compare a whale with pancakes? You know, I mean, I don't know. But somehow within a conversation, I got transported into the metaverse. You see, this is this is me right here. You know, <laughs> you see me right here. I can't really draw. So you have to mind the circle looking crazy. But, you know. Ultimately, also learned an important le life lesson. Fellas, we're, ladies, we're never cheaters. We're just singing sea shanties down the street. It's okay. So, in conclusion, stay in the metaverse, watch Prawn, became Caterpillar, and now I got toilet paper all over me. Because I need that many. <laughs> it's very addicting. Please stay away from it. <laughs> All right, that was my TED talk. Thank you for much. I'm out of here. <laughs> my TED right, talk. <laughs> Everyone, I have no idea what my topic is about because I was too slow to decide which one I wanted. So this will be a surprise for both of us. So hello, my name is Sid Cavs, and my talk is about the hidden life of someone who was born without a face or thumbs. Now you might be asking me, Sid Cavs, how can you even read these slides? How can you even click the next slide? Well, it's because I am a starfish. You see, I have no thumbs. This is a picture of me and my mom. And I have no thumbs, I have no face. All I have is legs. And that's, that's very, you know, people might think that's not very useful. Like, how do you grab things? Well, how can I grab things? I don't have thumbs. Well, even if I had arms, that's a leg. I can't grab anything with a leg. Now cover your ears if you're a coward, but if you're not, Listen to this, okay? This is big secret here, all right? I see everything. I may not have a face, but I can see it all. You see, this guy, he's got big old eyes, right? But he probably can't see much. I mean, he has to use binoculars, for Christ's sake. I mean, he's looking in on his neighbors. You see, he's just wasting his face. The true thing that you need, the true thing, more legs. Now, you might be confused, and that's okay. So if you are, let me just put it pretty simply. Corn. Thank you so much for joining my TED Talk. Hello, my name is Shirinit, and my talk is... Could not dying be the secret to immortality? Well, you think, actually when you think, not dying, eh? You... Uh, will be 100 years old and then when you're 100 years old you do not die and you actually go to live on 
A long time! <laughs> a very long time! Yeah, so then you're immortal. But immortality is more than that. It's not feeling pain, it's not dying. This reminds me of another slightly related problem. Point. This is how I do not die. I bind myself with a rocket and I am a turtle. Yes, guys, I'm actually a turtle. Then I bind myself with a rocket. I jump off a... Off a... Fuck. Off a thingy. And that's how I survive. That's my immortality. I met the gods up there. The gods said to me, you're immortal now. And I didn't die. I didn't die. But then, after that, everything changed. <laughs> I went from a turtle to a snail. I was not really uh, not slow anymore. I was really slow. But I had some wheels underneath me. I replaced them later. And now I drive like deja vu. Uh, never been in space before. Every way. <laughs> I see Rob laughing. <laughs> I, every way, every corner, I, I just drive. Well, this was my speech. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Woo! I'm amazed yeah. I got the turtle, the, the electric turtle followed by the, um, <laughs> by the snail was perfect. <laughs> that was, that was yes. Holy W's, holy W's. I'll be, I'll say, it may seem to be quite dirty when we all went incredibly dirty, but that wasn't too bad, apart from the massive amounts of porn and masturbating you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Neat, let's go. Good Before we begin, I will kiss you when this is over. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hello, yeah, my name is Shit and Neat, and my talk is... Oh my god, now my right hand. <laughs> okay. Hey nerds, here's how to survive a whole attack. Just don't fall in holes. Just pick dirt out of your pockets. And, I mean, mud water is also good. Just fill the hole with mud water. Just get out of it beforehand. That's maybe a smart idea. Why do I sound so enraged? I'll tell <laughs> Oh, fuck. I'll tell you... Yeah, that. Tell you why. I'm bankrupt. Just, I have no money in my bank. I would be happier when I had money, but I have no money. And in real life, my money is also gone. Everything gone to dildos. I love that. <laughs> There's nothing to be done. Or is there? There is. It's this. Buying sausages instead of dildos. Because <laughs> I got out of the hole already. Didn't make money in there. But now sausages <laughs> instead of dildos. <laughs> it's a good thing. Amazing for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for my speech. And please buy dildos for me. Or sausages. I don't have money. Please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> Look at, look at that score! Oh, <laughs> Alright, hello walked. everyone, it's me again, Sid Cass, and today my talk is that I'm amazing at doing a dog voice. So that's how I'm going to explain how to pick up some bitches at the pound near you. So, <laughs> let's talk about this dog voice, okay? So, I, I got my headset on, so you want to get your mic a little closer than it is in this picture. And you want to get really, really low, you gotta be like... Okay? Bitches love that. Bitches love that deep, raspy voice, okay? But, you know, cats cats are the worst. And could never explain this next thing to you, really. Because, you know, they don't get that low, deep, graspy voice. Raspy voice these dogs do. You know? They're always trying to just, like, you know, catcall you, you know? We're not trying to catcall some bitches here. We're trying to... Get them to Pound Town, you know? You pick up some bitches at the Pound and you take them to Pound Town. We don't need any weird cat callers. So, oh, oh. thank you. 
<laughs> oh, um, this is me giving you kisses. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 Yo, whoever wants that, that W to you, know, bro. Oh my god. That last part, though, wow. She backed it up. Hello, my name is Sir Electric, and my talk today is Gather Around and Hear My Ye Tale of Woe About Your Mom. So, on the upside, your mom is uh, raising the bar every time she goes out there to take out the garbage. I'll tell you, it's right off that chart. Your mom in a house coat, the way it trails behind her, is superb. And here's a tasty little fact about that mom. She squeaks. You wouldn't think after all of those years, <laughs> but she squeaks. <laughs> and I'll tell you, it's the cupcake on my icing. So really, when I'm looking through your window, checking out your mom, it boils down to this. She is a grade A jick. She knows how to perch on there. And I'll tell you, she really does my cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs> I'm Sir Electric. Thank you for coming to this TED Talk. And right now, I'm going to ask out your mom. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. oh, someone can help that in. Someone can help that in. My uh, I, I did not. Oh, my it, life has so much lemonade on it. Jesus, Bruh, that was good. It's so hard to vote when it's, like, really good. Like, when it's really good, like, you're so busy listening that you forget you have to click this thing, you know? That's that's usually what happens is you're you're so busy having fun with it that they always get the lowest score. My Hello, my name is MFA King, and my talk today is about being naked. The key to an effect, efficient media. I can't read English. You know, why do we wear clothes? You know, why do we wear clothes? What is the point of clothes? Let's be real. A, one of us fine, so why, why wear them? We should all go out and just be naked, you know? The animals don't wear clothes, so why do we? Think about that, you know? I don't know what to say here. We gotta... Before you think of defying me, heed this warning. Men, we all know how we are. Just learn to control yourselves. You, you feel me? I'm looking at you, bubs. Um, you know, business meetings are so boring. And it would be better if everyone just had their clothes off. You know... The room sometimes get a little hot, so, you know, it's, it's getting hot in here, so just take off all the clothes. There's not much left to say, so I will shout my next point. Hold on, let me um get into the mic so y'all can really hear this. Sasquatch bros, no clothes, and he's human. Show two. Alright, I'm out. Thank you. God bless. I'm out this way. Bye. <laughs> Ready? I cannot remember what I chose, so let's find out together. <laughs> let's do this. Let's Hello, do this. my name is Robert, and today I'm going to talk to you about manifesting a better life through skinny dipping. We've all recently just heard about my colleague showing you how to do efficient meetings through uh, nudity, and you can also get better life through being like a fish, swimming through life a little bit naked. No, I say a little bit naked, but all the naked. They may call it skinny dipping, you might be a chunky boy. Still skinny dipping, still do it. Anyone else? Oh, you're fat. No, you're skinny dipping. That's how to lose weight fast. Um, and the real way, this is going to knock your socks off so you can get truly naked before you dive on in. Put that dick in a box if you're a little bit shy. You know, you can open it up, be like, hello, bud. How you doing? How's, how are things out there? Get your big old smile. You might want to get your lad to do it. You might want to get your gal to do it. Or if you're alone, do it yourself. 
helps keep it dry and warm during those sort of more ferocious times in the ocean. Am I better than you because I do this? Obviously, I sleep next to a fish and, you know, look at her. Thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Bubs the Boy and my talk is, despite all their tech wizardry, Silicon Valley still cannot have sex. Permaversions. Um, so what I heard that they do to alleviate the frustrations of being permaversions, they like to get a little spicy with it, a little tasty. They get a tangerine, an orange, you could even use a grapefruit. They like to cut a hole in it. Now they put the face on it to make it more personal at first. And <laughs> You fuck the fruit. Okay, <laughs> carry it on. <laughs> you cut out there, and all we heard was fuck the fruit. Okay, <laughs> so, you just, your mic just shit it out, dog. Okay, okay, look. So there's only one explanation. <laughs> Danger, sinking mud. Now, see, that's usually what I call the last couple hours at the bar. You know, it just gets worse from there. You get your foot stuck, and next thing you know, you're waist deep, and you're only gonna get dirtier. So you're better off just leaving the whole situation. Um, now, listen up. All of human history has been building up to the next thing I'm going to say. Goats. <laughs> now, okay. There's a similarity between goats and strawberries. If you do them right, they get red in the middle, real pink and red in the middle, and they're both kind of juicy. Now, don't fuck a goat. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say that right now. Don't have sex with a goat. <laughs> Is there any way I can? Oh my god! Um, <laughs> um, oh, the game just cut you, you off. Listen to my talk. <laughs> It was the orange part. You, that last you, part. You said orange. You cut out. We just heard like noise, and then suddenly, fuck the fruit. It's like, but whoa! <laughs> came out of nowhere. It's it, 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 of noise it, cancellation. It just, it just kept getting worse and worse, bro. Yeah. You're welcome. So what we've learned today is don't fuck folk, don't fuck goats, fuck fruit. One of your, <laughs> it's one of your five a day. Hello, my name is Rob. And today, I'm going to talk to you about why my neighbours need to stop meat riding. There she is. She, you know, she's a typical girl next door, loves a bit of meaty pizza, lies down on a nice soft sofa. But the problem is, when I talk about meat riding, like, she didn't buy that pizza to eat. She bought it to ride. It's proper gross. She gets proper cheesy down there. Um, look, so open your my mouth because here's the tasty piece of information you want to know about how she gets that meat ridden. Like, shocking. She'll get the, 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 the local squirrels involved. There's nothing better than an oily, cheesy pizza when you're riding meat. Look, but when you consider things, this is what tomorrow is going to be like. She's going to get the whole gnome garden involved. It's going to look like a weird, wet war zone. Thank you. Hello, my name crazy. is Neat, and my talk is how eating ass is the, the ultimate dining experience. Well, you know, eating ass is the ultimate dining experience, because you have apples, but what you also have is corn, and when you eat corn, it's it gets gritty. So, you get up the stairs, you walk upstairs, you have your, girls, your girl in your hands, in your arms, you walk through the corridor, you get into your, your room, you throw her on your bed, knock her unconscious, and then eat her ass. <laughs> and the good thing is it has gritty parts. But did you know this? That the hamburger also has some gritty parts. The seeds that come out of it those are gritty. So you take her first to McDonald's and then you do all the stuff after. And the wizard hat, if she eats that, then she can do some magic. So you will have magic poop. Just awesome. Just glowing colors. Amazing.
I needed you to understand me, and now I need you to fear me. <laughs> oh god. In the dining room, we do not only eat that, we eat <laughs> a lot of things. The dildo from plastic, we eat that too. We don't put that in their ass, we eat that up like it's amazing. Just the plastic, nom 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 nom. <laughs> Thank you for listening. And I hope we'll eat some ass together sometime soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all watch out. Y'all watch out. Y'all watch out. Please don't eat my ass, mister. I accidentally Anytime. muted myself. God damn. <laughs> Did I fuck up? And can everyone hear me? Cool. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. And yes, now, you I don't remember what the topic was because it skipped. But you see this person in the box? I'm about to improvise. He seems sad. Look at him. This sad. I had to fix my shit. In the interest of fairness, let's talk about the opposer argument and why this, why she's so stupid. Because the goose is, the duck is looking at him like, bro, what are you on? Why are you sad today? And in all reality, you shouldn't be. You know, this is a nice box you got right here. You know, it's kind of warm. Kind of, you know, it's a nice place to sleep. Legally, I can't say this, but here I go. Prepare for canceling. <laughs> this girl is going to deep throat that snake. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what my topic was. I'm about. I'm sorry. It's about going it's to an island to do whatever you like. Start talking about sad box, man. <laughs> I, know, I had no idea. Bro, I was so lost. I was so lost. Fuck it. I had to make something. And the girl deep throated that snake. Let's be right real here. And she deep throated that snake. Hello, my name is Bubs the Boy, and my talk is why I deserve all the bitches. Hell yeah, dude. Look. Okay, as you can see, I keep a real safety with it. I got my gloves on, got my goggles. Listen, if you as a bitch, excuse my language, you want a man who's going to be safety. Look, ain't no, you know, chlamydia. You ain't got to worry about it. I got my gloves on. HIV, I got my goggles on. I even got me a little apron on. You safe in my hands, baby. So we could, we could get it popping. Look. I don't want to be mean to you, baby, but look, only a real idiot would dispute this fact. I'm not saying you're an idiot, but if you dispute this fact, you might be an idiot. At the bottom of the ocean, with all these mermaid bitches, what you want? You want safety. You run out of air, boom, drowned. Eh, can't come if you're drowning. I don't know if you ever tried, like, they call it autoerotic asphyxiation, where you run out of air. You know what? I ain't, I ain't even gonna tell you all about that, but just know some people like being choked. They like they like not breathing while they listen. listen. If you're at the bottom of the ocean, call your boy Bubs. I'm gonna keep it safe. The <laughs> next part, the the next part of my speech will change your life forever. Not just for today, forever. We could ride that stairway to heaven. Me, you, we got hats on. Again, we safe. Keep keep my belt. I got gadgets, I got tools, whatever you need to take you to heaven. You know, you ever hear that Led Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven? They might have stole that, but look, I'm going to steal your heart. Check me. We're going to heaven together. We got hard hats, and I got a heart. I ain't going to talk about what's hard. We gonna go to <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Thank you for the time. I'm Bubs. Check me out. Oh, my God. No, I had that in the <laughs> Add that as a clip or something. Jesus, guys, that was Jesus. good. Jesus. So, everyone, I'm Sid Cows again, and today I've got some really <laughs> juicy things to talk about, okay? I wanted to let you guys know how I achieved the perfect cock size, okay? Oh, I know oh, most no. people might think, Sid, what do you know about this? And let me say, I know quite a lot, actually. So, let's talk about shapes. All right, you see this carrot? too pointy you're gonna puncture something do you really want to puncture the person you're making love to absolutely not okay you know everyone's always like the size doesn't matter you know it's kind of true it is but if it's too pointy jesus christ 
All right, now I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm going to sing this next part for you guys, okay? <laughs> Bear with me. Cover your ears. <laughs> when you wave your sword, make sure you wave it safely. Don't stab your partner. You don't want to spill their guts, but you do want to like get up in there, okay? So just just throwing that out there. Um, now what is the worst part of all of this, okay? That's that's a great question. Um, and the worst part of all of this is fisting. <laughs> Everyone thinks that like once you see one of those videos and put a whole hand in there, you don't need to put a whole hand in there. That's you know that's not how you achieve the perfect size, okay? You know, just have a good time. Just be confident with what you got. Don't sharpen it down there. I don't know why you'd want to do that in the first place. And just take it slow, because if it works perfectly, boom, sparks fly. Thank you all for my TED Talk. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I chose that one and you went straight to fisting. Hello, my name is Robert. And today, I'm going to talk to you about... Um, excuse me, but this wedding is unacceptable. And I demand to see the manager. Look, we have been standing out here for the last three hours. The tides come in, my feet are wet, it's getting cold because the sun's gone down, and there's not a single bride here for us to get married. This woman in the middle, look at her. Look at her. They're, they're looking like they're in a festival. That is not good wedding attire. Jesus. Look, you're probably why, why am I the expert? Obviously I'm the expert. I got married. I didn't make a fool of myself. I'm not the cock here. I can get money out. What do you, what do you know? Look, this is really the reason why I'm pissed off. Look, I found this out about the bride and groom. They're not getting married. They just have weird gay sex. Thank you. <laughs> I don't need lift because I have an extra nipple. Yes, four nipples. Well, on, I was on a racetrack once. I was against three, I don't know, ge cheetahs, jaguars, panthers, I don't know, things. I was against them. I ran as hard as I could. I fell down and then I shaved one nipple off. It, it did hurt. It did hurt. I finally had to admit the following was to... It did hurt more by being stabbed by uh, a unicorn that was golden and sparkly. It did hurt more because I had no nipple skin, you know? So it did hurt more and um, I was carrying the following truth with... Carry the following truth with you always. So I will learn... I will teach you a life lesson. When... Your nipple is shaved off. Don't let a mouse come in your meat. D don't. Don't let it even be, <laughs> be next to your skin. If it runs up to your unshaved nipple, you're gone. You're... Mm, that hurts now. I want to say thank you. Thank you for listening. It was amazing. You are the lead. Don't. Let your nipple go. <laughs> you, you, you're right there, bud. That, that went in so many directions. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello, my name is Unafic King, and my talk is... I believe that Rob has a girlfriend is a modern day man. And let no. me show you how. You see this girl right here? This is the average female. No, she's not. <laughs> Look at her behavior. That is Rob's girlfriend. As you can see, she is not normal. The average female, every time looks at Rob, burns. This fact will mentally destroy your brain. Be ready. Rob just has a girlfriend. And we still don't know how. Matter of fact, since Rob has gotten a girlfriend, we've been through a pandemic. I just want that fact to be known. And that's where you come in. We need to stop this madness. If Rob becomes single again, maybe, just maybe, the world will go back to normal. Who am I kidding? The world is fucked and we're all doomed. Thanks, Rob, for getting a girlfriend. Thank you. 
That's what they're about. <laughs> Getting bullied! <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I love the fact I was the one to take the get, get duty assistant to it. <laughs> love you, bro. Yo, I love you, bro. Nothing serious, bro. <laughs> I saw it. It was like, oh, I gotta pick this one. I have to pick this one. Yeah. I hope it doesn't cause my arm. I, hope I didn't even write arm. that one, which means someone else is bullying me. 